Hello everybody, welcome to Geek Impulse, and today we are discussing the Deadpool of Jellyfish, the Turritopsis dornii, or T. dornii for short, which is the only known metazoan that is capable of reversing its life cycle via morph rejuvenation, and all the way from the adult medusa stage to the juvenile polyp stage. T. dornii, of course, was not discovered until 1883 inside the Mediterranean Sea. Its unique ability was not discovered until the 1980s, though, by two students, a German student that goes by the name of Christian Sommer, along with an Italian student, Giorgio Bravastrello, who thought they were collecting the Turritopsis nutricula, which is part of the same family. The students were under the observation of Fernando Barrero, who is the professor of zoology at the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences and Technologies at the Universita del Salento in Lis, Italy. T. Dornii are most commonly found in the Mediterranean and Caribbean seas, as well as off the coast of Japan. They are considered an invasive marine species and are the perfect little hitchhikers, hitchhiking themselves all over the world on the bottom of boats. The T. nutricula are most common in the Caribbean, whereas the T. dornii are most commonly found in the Mediterranean. Their diet consists of plankton, fish eggs, and small mollusks. They are tiny at a maximum of 4.5 millimeters tall and wide as adults with 90 tentacles total, give or take. And the younger jellyfish only have eight tentacles and are one millimeter tall. The reason we're talking about this today and why they're like Deadpool is because scientists right now are learning more and more about their abilities and how they can assist in finding new ways to repair or regenerate damaged tissue. One such person is Professor Shin Kubota while at Kyoto University. He stated, One of my latest findings is that an old Turritopsis dornii can still degenerate into polyps, even after they lost their reproductive capabilities and they can no longer eat by themselves due to a lack of stinging cells. The immortal jellyfish can rejuvenate even from an advanced senile state. Kubota also talked about that during a two-year period, his colony of T. dornii regenerated itself 11 times. And that's not all they can do. According to biologist Stefano Perino of the University of Salento in Italy, these jellyfish can help us fight cancer. Yes, folks, cancer. Because like cancer cells, some cells of the jellyfish that were supposed to die are able to switch off some genes and can switch on other genes, reactivating genetic programs that were used in earlier stages of the life cycle. With that being said, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to find out more about these elusive immortal jellyfish and what they can do, I'll go ahead and in the description leave the links to all the references for this video so you can research more on yourself. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments below of this video. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash it, hit it as many times as you possibly can, and just make sure you're subscribed. With that being said, I'm going to get myself out of the way. Thank you so much. Peace.